Aquarius, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is an oracle card reading. It's an intuitive reading, energy reading. It is not a horoscope. So it is for Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, or wherever Aquarius influences your natal chart. You can apply these themes um, to that part of your natal chart or that part of your life, or maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius and that's the insights that you get. Um, there is a, an extended reading that is a full tarot card spread. And what that does is it draws from these energies. It kind of um, um, draws out specifics and it personalizes the reading and expands upon the reading. And it also includes a romance reading as well. So that link is in the description box below. Um, oh, I do not put dates on these videos anymore. I've, I've just learned to not, <laughs> that people don't care. Uh, but I do upload an Aquarius video every single week. And so um, um, if you want them fresh off the press, please do click subscribe. You'll help the channel grow and uh, you'll get to ring that bell to get notifications for when the new Aquarius videos or any video that you care about arrive. Um, I may, may have said this before, but if Aquarius is your sun sign, you should be watching your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon sign. And if you're looking for love and romance advice, I do have the romantic tarot. There's a full romantic spread over in the extended, but also you should be looking at your Venus sign and your Mercury sign, if you know them. So let's see what, what we have for Aquarius. What is the Aquarius energy? What is Aquarius energy? Abundance, abundance and prosperity. This is 3D resources. This is headstrong and stubborn Taurus energy, but knowing or having faith that the universe is going to provide for you or it already has. So there is a sense of abundance in your life that you are certain of. I don't know if it's making you a little bit cocky, but it is definitely giving you this steadfastness. It's, it's a foundation. It's fundamental to you feeling good and feeling like this is a time for me to make move forward. This could also be a, a premonition kind of thing of a kind of kind of energy of abundance is coming into your life, but this is your crowning energy. So what is crowning you is abundance, feeling abundant all around, feeling loved, feeling taken care of, feeling that your 3D resources are exactly what you need them to be, and maybe helping to distribute that abundance if you are so inclined, which you basically are because you're an Aquarius, about taking the resources, taking the stock, taking stock and maybe accumulating resources and helping that helping to distribute them and taking care of others. But more importantly, because this is your crowning energy, this is feeling filled with abundance. That's the theme is abundance is your 3D resources and feeling really confident and competent at um, confident that they will continue to come in and they, they will continue to flow. Um, so this could be opportunity as well. Opportunities knocking or contracts signed a sense of um, prosperity that is making you certain. Let's put it that way. That is why you feel so certain right now. You're, you're absolutely, uh, like I said, positive about your resources. Hold on. Or hold on. Lots of energy is flying out. Give me a second. So take the lead has come out and this is very almost life-changing energy. So the energy of eight plus five is 13, which adds up to four. Makes sense, right? Four hooves planted firmly on the ground, knowing where you're going, taking the lead, uh, getting like, these are like antenna up into the ether. So receiving those messages, receiving that inspiration, allowing yourself to be inspired and almost like being tapped, feeling like you've been tapped to do something, spread something, share something, do something, want to make a, an impact. Um, but this is also a sense of serenity coming into your life, something that you are in awe of, that maybe you stand sort of humbled by because of its great beauty, great purity, and that you revere it so much. 
standing in awe of something or somebody standing in awe of you. Time to take a deep dive, but this is your head being under the water, wanting to maybe hide some of your emotions. Something to do with love is uh, making you uncomfortable, feeling like it's upside down and backwards, not being certain of love. Definitely certain of 3D resources, but not being certain of the abundance of your love or the stability of your relationship. This is Libra energy. I don't know if you're dealing with a Libra, but this is definitely like maybe going underneath, trying to look, look underneath the surface to see what's happening or um, uh, no, knowing somehow intuitively that something is happening underneath the surface that hasn't been revealed yet, trying to go dig in a little bit deeper. This is time for a deep dive into love. But like I said, it's upside down. So it's almost like your head is underwater, looking at things underneath, trying to figure it out. But at the same time, it's also playing in the shallows, being a scared or afraid of what you see. Um, in terms of your own heart space, your own love, I feel like this is wanting to suppress your own emotions and then use your mind wisely comes out, but it comes out upside down, which is being frivolous or being spontaneous or being reactionary. Once again, this all has to do with relationships. Um, I feel almost like you're in the presence of somebody that has got you wrapped up you know, like wrapped up, wrapped around your, wrapped around their finger, or you're in awe of who they are, um, or like, like, <sighs> ooh, knowing that there's a special, there's something special going on here, but not necessarily being ready to access it. Um, and this is your central energy. <laughs> oh my god! No wonder you're feeling a little bit out of sorts. This is Kundalini energy. Yes, it's the energy of healing, but it's also the energy of being wary of poison, of being wary of, of, of this heat, this growing, this coiling inside of you, this uh, sensuality, this sexuality, maybe this hidden se sexuality that you don't reveal to a lot of people, you don't let a lot of people in on. Maybe it's been pent up or held back or denied for a long time. So there's this push and this twist in your gut that just wants to leap out and spring out from you. You, this energy and why is it happening to heal you because it's ready because you're it's time it's time because you're secure in terms of your financial resources so now it's time to take a chance on the other stuff the stuff that is actually scary to you I don't think really finances scare you that much but the other stuff that emotional stuff that scares you a lot. And because of it, you could repress it. This could also be um, those repressed emotions or get having fe so many feelings and so many strong feelings toward maybe the way that other people are treated. Like I said, it could be really playing on that, that your Aquarian nature and seeing that things are backwards or not being handled correctly is really upsetting you and frustrating you and you're kind of being inspired to do something about it to take some kind of action and both of these things could be going on simultaneously for you let's see the mask is coming off Maybe the gloves are coming off too, Aquarius. This is something that was hidden, some is being revealed. And maybe you're not ready for it to be revealed, especially if it's emotions. But it's almost like being laid bare accidentally. So like, like somebody accidentally finding out that you were interested or turning around when you were staring too long and then you had to like, oh, you know, like this, this is being revealed before you were ready to be revealed. Um, okay. So tend to the small things, um, the small things, it's almost like um, small things have been building up. This has been building up steadily over time and it now may be overflowing and running all over the place. This could also mean that you wanted to start small, you wanted to smart, start little, or that you greatly underestimated a, a situation and now it's being revealed to be something much bigger than, than you thought it was. Hmm. Or, oh, there could be many more emotions that were hiding beneath the surface 
um, than you actually realize there were. Now that could be actually realizing your emotions and discovering that something meant something to you a lot more than you thought it would. Now that doesn't have to be a relationship. That could be like almost being surprised that you're reacting this way and it, that you're this passionate about it. Like it's like the passion itself shocking you and surprising you. You know, because you didn't realize that you had so much of it. There's an abundance of, 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 of drive here that you didn't know was in you. Maybe you didn't even realize your own strength. And then we have see the big picture. So this is awakening, awakening to the needs of others, to the concern for others, awakening to your most Aquarian purpose, which is, I mean, Saturn's in Aquarius right now. So that's probably what's like whipping those, whipping those chains. It's like really that, that energy of, of uh, uh, looking out and seeing beyond your own needs and wanting to heal and wanting to add some stability and, and give some stability, give some direction, take care of. This kind of energy is almost overwhelming you. You could maybe even be getting some obsessive thoughts like not being able to drop the subject or ever able to let things go because you're just so intent on so like fueled, fueled with this fire that's coming from your gut. And I feel like this is divine timing too, because you're supposed to be doing this now. This is, this is you being spurred into action to take the lead and unveil those things that don't make sense, reveal those things that aren't working, reveal those things that are, you know, shallow attempts, shallow attempts to make something look like it's happening when it's not. Instead, sort of calling it out and revealing it and um, maybe even getting out of your own way and allowing yourself to be afraid and be uncomfortable for the sake or benefit of other people that you could maybe assist or help. That's really interesting energy. And now we have your grounding energy. Magic works through you. You're definitely stepping up to take the lead here. This is the energy of seven. So you are working on making magic. And I think that there's a bigger project here than you've revealed. If anybody knows anything about what you're up to, they only know the iceberg tip of it. They don't see what's hiding below because there's a lot of passion below. And it wants to just burst the fuck out of you. And it, and it, it does have this sense of um oh, of you being the leading force you being the driving force and you knowing it because this is your grounding energy you're very aware of it so this is intentional uh to heal the world and help ease the pain to help heal the sick to help heal the wounded to work your magic and find solutions for what is plaguing the globe, the world, this is the world behind this, the, behind the mosquito and the mosquito delivers pain. He delivers something is irritating you. Something's bugging you. Something's bothering you. Um, something's bothering you about what you see in the world. This is you doing something about it, going after and attacking what it is that is doing harm. Um, and that's grounding you. It's giving you a sense of purpose and direction. Uh, think on your feet. This is Sagittarius energy, uh, fueling the fire, maybe uh, um, uh, making the most out of a very chaotic situation and then make your dreams real. Look at this very closely and understand that this is the spider web catching all the bugs, catching all the flies, catching all the mosquitoes. Now, beetles don't go near spider webs, right? But mosquitoes certainly do. So this is you weaving your web to be able to capture or trap um, those individuals or those uh, catch or capture or yeah, or yeah, or trap what it is that's bothering you, what it is that's bugging you, uh, what it is that's been getting to you uh, to try to like take control. Um, it's something to do with you weaving. This is very much intentional, almost like you casting a spell, you working your own magic. Uh, and figuring it out yourself, uh, like like this is from scratch. This isn't this isn't with or through anybody else. This is uh, weaving the web yourself to sort of like catch a thief or catch the pain or catch the sorrow. Um, trying to um, figure stuff out on your own. That's what I keep getting over and over again. Grounding energy. Hold on, because I'm going to flip the camera around too. Hold on. I just noticed something when I looked really close I didn't that I didn't realize before. So this spider is wearing a crown at what looks to be where his pincers should be. 
but if you flip it upside down, you see that it's a crown. And then it looks much more like, you know, that eight-armed goddess from, I, I don't remember her name. Um, but it's really interesting how it turns into a much more godlike creature when you flip it in reverse. Okay, so understand that this is you wielding your spell, casting your spell, and basically trying to avoid all the chaos or get rid of or diminish all the chaos. Turn the chaos, like turn the chaos around on itself and not let the, like build a barrier so the chaos doesn't get through. And it says, think on your feet. So it's almost like avoid other people's pitfalls and other people's traps, getting caught up in all the crap and instead focusing on the higher need or the greater need or the greater good. This is what you're being called to do and you're responding to the call. Aquarius, this is you. This is everything about who you are, but how is it playing out in your personal life, in, in your day-to-day -day life? I think there can be a call of a, somehow a shift of focus, a shift off of yourself and onto your community at large and discovering that you didn't realize maybe that how big the issue was, how big the problem is, realizing and finally getting a real look at something that's been going on in your life that has been bugging you, that has been causing a problem, but you didn't realize how far it had gotten or how big it had grown, being revealed, your feelings, your emotions, either the struggles were being revealed, Aquarius, or your emotions regarding them that you were trying to keep under wraps were suddenly revealed maybe because they sprung out of you or they leaked out of you and somebody took notice of those things that, that, that you weren't, you aren't very comfortable in this circumstances situation. If it's emotional, you aren't, you aren't doing very well dealing with how to handle those feelings, trying to subvert them, trying to hide them. Um, uh, and maybe in that respect, making some silly decisions when it comes to, uh, when it comes to your feelings, um, and it could very well be that the greater work is also a quasi distraction from what it is you're trying to avoid uh, facing emotionally. And you know what? It's a good way to use your energy. It's a positive way to use what could be very toxic energy and you're doing your best and you're making the most out of a strenuous situation or a circumstance. But I have to say, this is, um, you're not going to be able to avoid it forever. Eventually they're going to catch you. It's going to catch up to you. Um, and it's not a bad thing. That's the thing. It's just something that you're not prepared for yet. So let me go and do the full extended tarot card reading. And of course that will include your love reading too. Aquarius, this still has a lot of mystery on this reading. So, um, join me over in the extended, the link is below.